Welcome to the video on how to review your file inventory results while adding your products in bulk. Every time you upload a file through Add Products via Upload, Amazon creates and posts a processing report to identify whether your feed was successful and if any specific errors were encountered during processing. You would like to know that any time you upload an inventory feed by clicking on Upload File, you will be automatically redirected to the Monitor Upload Statuses tab, where a message box confirms that the file has been successfully received. Don't worry if the file that you've just uploaded doesn't automatically appear. Just refresh the page to see the latest results. The time to process a feed can vary depending on its size. However, you do not have to stay on this page while the file is being processed. Feel free to navigate on Seller Central and go back to this tab anytime you want to check your upload status. The File Upload Status section on this page displays the date and time, name, batch ID, upload status and results of your most recent upload. There is also a column that provides some links you can use for taking any action based on the results. If your feed has not completed processing, the Status Results column shows that the status is in progress. After your file is processed, the Status Results column shows updated information along with the actions available. To check the details from the processing report, click on the Download your processing report. Then, click on Open to access the document. If you download a TXT document, like the one you can currently see on the screen, select All and copy and paste in an Excel book. The report looks like this. The first three rows show a small summary of all the records in your feed processed and the number of records successful. If the number of records processed is higher than the successful, it's because there are some records with errors. If that were the case, you'll find all the details below. Column A displays the number of records, column B the SKU, column C the marketplace where the record processed an error, column D the error code related to each SKU, and column F the description of that error. To resolve those errors, you can either edit the original inventory file and then re-upload it in order to address changes on different SKUs at the same time, or go back to the status page and click on Complete Drafts to update your SKUs one by one. Now there is nothing stopping you from selling your products. Thank you and happy selling!